So, I am so happy that, wow, that's a lot of sun. Oof. I don't really want to block out the sun today for the, the plants because they really need some sun. So I'm just going to sit somewhere else, I think. Let's just sit here for a bit. Oh, I'm happy the running is going better. I was very, very quick and I'm basically at the beginning of my schedule. So it's one and a half minutes of running and one minute of walking, but it's going great. And I feel like this is the way to slowly build up. And maybe it's also because I was a little bit frustrated that I uh, had more speed in me than usually <laughs> because I'm a bit, um, Devastated is a bit a big word, but I'm a bit frustrated because of the appointment I had yesterday for my shoulder, and there's there are no real results. But um, it was kind of weird because the diagnose that was uh, the, the sort of diagnose I got um, two weeks ago is different than it was yesterday it felt like the pain was in a different position which is weird and without really researching i did a, a strength test but there the results aren't in yet but nothing really special came out of that but um i feel like they focus now too much on like the physical pain is mentally and that could be the case uh, because of the trauma I had with my surgery. Your brain can think of pain uh, or can interpret pain differently. Um, but I'm, I'm not really at the point where I can accept that. And it's also not, it's not definite, it's not um, um, a diagnose yet, but I will be called next week with the results. And, but the thing is, they basically talked about having more uh, mental therapy. Now I've talked about that before and I have a very good uh, psychotherapist. So I don't want to get to another person to again, talk about my mental health and how that is related to pain. Um, so that frustrated me a bit. And it could also be the fact that my recovery after surgery I didn't really have any recovery time after surgery. I had six months, six weeks uh, of, um, yeah, like the, the, the vest, and I've made a video about that. After that, um, I just, on my own, started to slowly work on training and exercising more. And um, yeah, it could be that my brain is interpreting pain like th it has the feeling that there is still a trauma in my shoulder but there really isn't it's kind of hard to accept it's kind of hard to 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 imagine but i don't know my my main tip about this <laughs> is um and i speak from personal experience what i wanted to do what i needed to do after surgery is get to a physiotherapist right away to get some help with recovery and do not do that by yourself. Um, yeah. And I know um, when I talk about these sorts of problems, the, the, you guys react with all sorts of help and uh, that is really nice and also solutions for chest pain and all sorts of things. But um, that's, I appreciate that, but to be honest, I'm not going to do anything with that because I just really want to have to, I really want to wait for the the specialist to get an, I want to have um, their point of view first. So, and if I'm not happy with that, I will go to another specialist to see if I can get a second opinion. So that's basically going to be my my way of um, dealing with this and in the meantime 
I am going to try to focus on the pain um, and maybe approach it as a mental thing and see how that goes. But for now, I'm going to shower and because my hair is like, it's great. <laughs> and then um, for today, I want to do some homework. It's a Saturday, by the way. And talking about relaxation, I have a, I, I bought a thing to, to, to see if I can relax a bit, but I will show you and not tell. And like I said, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know how it will feel. I don't know if I might be too sensitive for it, but we'll see. This looks like it's not comfortable at all. I'm gonna try it. To see if I can relax my back a little bit with this it was very it was fairly cheap so if it doesn't work okay it doesn't really matter um but i think i'm just gonna lie on the floor maybe just here are pretty cold so I'm gonna grab some socks I know this looks weird but I don't really care It was actually quite relaxing. Um, at first, I it was like a little bit uncomfortable, but it didn't really hurt. But after five minutes, I was like, eh, it was actually pretty nice," and I didn't really focus on the pain or anything. It was it wasn't it wasn't really pain, but in the beginning, some parts of my back really started to hurt, like muscle pain. Um, and then it was like getting warm and felt kind of relaxing, weirdly enough. So I don't know if it has any effect, but the effect that it did have was that it, it was <laughs> relaxing. It was like 15 minutes of, yeah. And I got this from uh, someone on YouTube who was also trying this and I was really like, I want to try this because it looks 
weird, but also in a weird way, something that I wanted to try. So I'm gonna try it for a couple of days and see uh, what, what kind of effect it has. It's starting to itch a bit right now. But um, yeah, we'll see. Just gonna leave it like that and... Uh, We'll see. It's not a different day, it's still the same day. Yes, I'm wearing a different shirt because my black shirt got very itchy and when my shirt gets very itchy, I want to have a different shirt. I'm very different, I'm very different. I'm very sensitive to that. So that's why I'm wearing a different shirt. It's in the, late in the afternoon and I was editing the video. I saw the first part and I think I want to say to that is that it's it's my experience and it's my, um, everyone's experience is different. Some, I've seen some trans guys who have been supporting after three months and uh, for me it was the same and they have no issues at all. And it's also not really a thing, uh, it's, it's not like this is the problem, it's because of the shoulder pain, it's because of the mastectomy. That's not what I want to say, but I, I at the moment, I this is the only thing I can think of because there is not really anything else that has happened that could cause an injury like this. So um, I'm still being taken care of, I'm still waiting for a diagnosis, a solution, mostly a solution because I want to get rid of the pain. And um, that is, I think, the, the most important thing I wanted to say as well. So I am not, <laughs> I'm not devastated about it, but I'm just really trying to find a solution and wanted to take you along with me in that. So that's what I wanted to say, I think. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, that. I wanted to say like and subscribe, but that's just a really a, a YouTube thing that I would not like to get into. So I'm not going to say that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you. Goodbye.